Greetings, I'm Diane Adler, Director of Library Services. Welcome to our virtual library tour. It's going to be informative, but we're also going to add a little bit of fun. At the beginning of every semester, we put this sign up. Later we move it, but we don't forget about it. Everybody that works in this library believes in this philosophy. Number one, you're the most important person in the library when you come in. Number two, you're someone to be helped, not tolerated. We're happy you're here. And finally, you're not an interruption in our work. You are our work. The most important message today is that we're here to help. Please ask your questions. We're going to take a look at library hours and how you can contact us. Library hours, Monday through Thursday. I like this. It's easy to remember, 8 to 8. On Fridays, we open up again at 8 and close at 4. On Sunday, we open up at noon and stay open all the way until 7 p.m. We hope to see you. We just took a look at our face-to-face -face open hours. You can also meet with us through email, gclibrary at sheridan.edu, or give us a call at 307-681-6220. We can also meet with you through Zoom. Give us a phone call or email us and we'll get a Zoom meeting set up. That way you can be at your house and we can do an online Zoom meeting. We'll even have time on Saturday. So a variety of ways to contact us. We hope to hear from you. Check out the library homepage for our hours and contact information. Just sign in to MyNWCCD and open the library icon. You'll be on the library homepage and over the right hand side you can check out our current hours and our contact information and we will be updating this really soon. I'm back at the library display and we'll have several library displays throughout the semester. This one's kind of in progress right now. You're welcome to touch things on the library display but what we're asking and you'll see signs right here we're asking that you clean your hands first and here I'll give you an example so I used a wipe I clean my hands and I'm looking at the display and these two books look pretty darn interesting and I'm looking at them a little more closely and then I decide no I want to look for something else if you're browsing the stacks if you're picking up books we will have this card out every day and what we want you to do is put the materials that you're browsing around looking at back on that card so that we can decontaminate them. Let's take a look at our very cool study room up front. We asked to Gillette College students, what do you want in a study room? Number one, believe it or not, was I want a place to spread my crap out. And you can see I've got a variety of really important things, or is it crap? But anyway, you can see plenty of space for that. I want to call your attention to, we're also, when you use a work area, please wipe it down as you come in, so you can make sure that it's been cleaned, and then also afterwards. Okay, number two, students wanted a computer, so we have a desktop right there. You're also welcome to bring in your own laptop, and we added this large screen last year. You can hook your laptop up. We also have a cord for a Mac. And what I like about this is you can put your PowerPoint up, you can put your Word document. Maybe you want to practice a speech. Maybe you want to do a Zoom. So that works pretty cool. And behind me, a whiteboard. That was also really important. And the last thing was a really super comfy chair. I'm, I'm going to turn this over to Samantha, and she's going to talk about some of the things that you can check out. Why might you need an online library card? I'm going to tell you a few reasons. My name's Samantha, and I work here at the Gillette College Library as the Library Information Specialist. I'm going to give you a few examples of why you might need a library card from our library. First is calculators. We have calculators. You may only need one for one class. You may find out your batteries die when you get to class, and you'd be surprised how often people forget their calculators on test days. But you know what? We've got you covered. 
Another option we have is we want you to keep in the back of your mind is we have laptops. Um, you may say you already have a laptop and you don't need one. Laptops crash or tend to not work at the most inopportune times. So just keep it in the back of your mind that we do loan out laptops. One of the popular items that we have too is textbooks. We have textbooks for many of the core classes and most of the core classes and quite a few of the elective classes. You may be waiting for your textbooks to come in. Um, you may have forgotten your textbook. You may just have some extra time on campus and you want to do a little work. So we've got some textbooks to keep you covered. So besides all this good stuff, we also have research materials. But not everybody wants to research all the time. So we've got fiction books here. We've got a wide variety of fiction books for some leisure reading. And then we've got display stands throughout the library that we fill with either themed books or new books. So you can come on in and check those out. And if you can't find what you want, we can interlibrary loan for you. We also have over 2,000 popular DVDs. These, as with everything else I mentioned, the calculators and computers can only be checked out with a library card from here. So if you're on the fence about getting your library card, some good reasons to get your library card. Samantha talked to you a little bit about nonfiction, which starts right over there. And just a reminder, we've got these browsing the stack signs. So if you grab something and you're handling it, please put it on the cart. All right, I'm going to talk to you about some of the cool things about Gillette College Library, which you may not have thought about. We have a children's literature section. It starts right here, and you'll see this kind of fun Wizard of Oz bookend. We do have young adult titles and also a lot of children's titles. We have a children's literature class at Gillette College, but you may have someone that you want to read with or read to. This is kind of fun. I'm going to tell a secret about Samantha. One of her children loved this book so much, How the Easter Bunny Saved Christmas, that she had to literally check it out, or I might be exaggerating, 15 times. Okay, let's take a look at another really interesting section. The Oxford Very Short Introductions. These books are about a hundred pages on a variety of subjects and we have a lot of students that use them for papers and speeches and projects. Interesting titles. This one's on child psychology. Several students have done speeches and papers on happiness. This one's on Vikings. And this has been in the news a lot, pandemics. On the very top right here, we have a little guide, and it lists all of the titles in alphabetical order. So that's kind of handy. I'm going to turn this over to Ashley, who's going to tell you about graphic novels. Hi, my name is Ashley. I'm staff here at Gillette College Library, and I'm here to talk to you guys about graphic novels. And so as you can see, we have a, bu a lot of titles here. Here's some of our most popular ones. We've got The Walking Dead, as well as there's a bunch of classic remakes of graphic novels, like Edgar Allan Poe's stories in manga form, and here's a graphic novel in Alexander Hamilton. And another resource for you to note is that we have, if you don't have your library card, come in and get one or sign up for one online. And you can use this library card at the public library as well. So if there's a book that you want from there that we don't possibly have, you can place a hold and you can also pick it up at Gillette College Library, as well as in our library loans from around the state. <laughs> and so yes, here's all your graphic novel resources. Graphic novels. <laughs> Here in the back of the library, we have another little study room for you guys to use. And as you can see, it's nice and isolated and quiet, and so you can study, set out your stuff. There's a computer, a whiteboard, and there's a TV, so you can watch DVDs for class and such. Hi, back to me, Samantha. Um, besides the great stuff that we've already told you about, I'm going to tell you about a few more things here at the library. Notice in the library we've got a lot of computers for you to use. You can use these between class and after class, we're open on the week evenings too. Some of the computers have no keyboards. Those ones are pulled for social distancing. So please only use the ones with keyboards. And as with everything else, please sanitize before and after for yours and everyone else's safety. These two computers here, 
actually have scanners on them, attached to them. You never know when you're going to need to scan something. You might need something for class, you might need something for financial aid or registration. So there's a little handy guide on how to use the scanners. And once again, make sure you wipe it and sanitize it when you're done using it. Also around the library, we have these handy power strips. If you prefer to use your own computer, come on in. There's a few of these just randomly placed throughout the library. Now if we come on over here, we've got a nice, quiet little study area. It's secluded, it's quiet, and there's a plug on the floor so you can bring your laptop and use it here. And then just make sure we wipe it down when we're done. We're going to come on over here, there's other areas to study in the library also. So Diane talked to you a little about the study rooms. But we have chairs here that you can sit and read in or use your laptop in. And then we have a table over here. There's another one of those power bars. And this table's big enough for you to spread out your stuff. I'm one of those spreaders. So as with everything, we've got some wipes here, so please remember to wipe down your area. And it's always safe just to wipe it down before and after. Come back here, we have one of the only, we have the only free copier on campus. This copier is free because students have been respect, responsible. Um, if we want to keep it free, we just need to be responsible with it. So if you need to copy something for school, you can copy something for school. If you need to copy a paper to turn in somewhere, you can do that. You don't need to copy 50 invitations to a party you might have next year. Um, just use it responsibly if you need to copy something out of our reference books. That's what it's here for. Once again, we have wipes over here. So you can wipe down the copier when you're done. And any of this other equipment that you may use. So i got one last thing to tell you guys about. So, we have talked to you about textbooks and calculators and movies and books. All of that can still be circulated and we still are checking out. So when you find something you want to check out, just bring it up to our desk. We can actually scan it and check it out right through this plexiglass. So we don't even have to handle most of your products. Samantha told you all the reasons you want to get a Gillette College Library card. And look at it. It's super cool. You also get one for your keychain. It's got your library card number on the back. If your keys get lost, this will help you get your keys back. I'm going to tell you how to get one online. Let's get started. Sign into your My NWCCD and open the library icon. You're on the library homepage. Let's go down here a little bit. Need a library card? Gillette College? Sign up online. Open that up. You're going to fill out the information below. We would really like it if you would check this box, Receives Notices Via Text. What that will do is, let's say you order a book from Interlibrary Loan. We can just text you and tell you that it's arrived. The reason I like it, and I'm going to admit this, as a librarian, I know it's shocking, but I have had overdue books. This has really helped me. You get a notice several days before your books are due. So we're not going to send you random texts just for fun. I have everything filled out. My phone number is in there twice because I signed up for the text messages. Click the I'm not a robot and then underneath read your responsibilities including returning items and being responsible. Then go ahead and register. So how do you get your card? A couple of options. Option one right here within the next two weeks, and I mean you could come in within the next 10 minutes, stop into the library with your photo ID and we'll give you your plastic card with the keychain. Or I have this other cool email option and let me walk you through it. You do need to send us the email from your Sheridan.edu account, so open that up. Under 2, enter gclibrary at Sheridan.edu. Go down to the subject line and enter the words activate library card. Send us the email. We'll get your card activated and send you an email back with your card number and PIN. And then you can stop in. We'll just have it filed ready for you when you get a chance, when it's convenient for you. Stop in and you can pick up your card anytime, but you're activated and you can use it without picking up the actual physical card. 
after you have your library card activated and you know your library card number and this is just an option you don't have to do it I did it and I'm happy I did I downloaded the Wildcat app on my phone and I'm gonna be honest again sometimes I've forgotten my library card once you activate this Wildcat app and you put your library card number in there you have it with you chances are you're going to have your phone with you so that's just another option if you want to do one more step thanks for watching and as always if you have questions we're here to help stop in you can email gclibrary at sheridan.edu or give us a call at 307-681-6220. We're here to help.